Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. For anyone who didn't see it, we had an Age of Empires teaser drop today on the Xbox YouTube channel, announcing an upcoming fan preview. Basically, on April 10th at 9am Pacific, noon Eastern Time, they'll be streaming what sounds like a lot of news about games in the Age franchise. Basically, today was an announcement of an announcement. The short trailer they dropped today though features quite a few Age of Empires 4 clips, many of which we have seen before, but two new shots that we haven't. The first one appears to be some sort of tournament ground, maybe a tutorial game mode like Art of War as you see round 1 in the corner. It could also be a campaign mission as it looks like the player has already followed a path across the map, but either way this is the clearest shot of gameplay we've seen so far. We get a good look at a few different types of infantry, the user interface, as well as a good sense of what the graphics are going to look like. In the next shot, we get another short glimpse of a much larger battle sequence. Red at least appears to be the English, with Longbowmen in the back, though given the identical shields on Blue's infantry, these might both be English. We did know about the English and Mongol civilizations already, as well as the fact they're going with fewer civs than Age 2 had on release, but they haven't publicly revealed exactly how many or what the other civilizations are yet. At first glance, I do like the pikemen seem to be able to reach over each other, reminding me of a Kamiak sort of fighting mechanic. That would be more realistic than default pikes in Age of Empires 2, for example. We also get a glimpse of some different formation options as well, showing we don't have the split function that Age of Empires 2 players are so used to. That makes dodging mangonel shots quite a bit harder, which arguably also suggests a more realistic sort of combat. Personally, I like the very minimal interface, and we can also see the classic four resources are going to be in the game. One thing that caught my eye and I was curious about is the crown above what appears to be either heroes or general units. There's hints these might have special abilities, though it's hard to say from just two very quick shots what exactly is paired together on the screen. For example, in the second shot there's 48 infantry, 2 cavalry, and 1 hero selected, which matches up with what we see. In the previous shot though, we have 13 pikes, 14 infantry, which checks out, but then there appears to be 3 hero units selected, when I only see 1 on screen, so maybe I'm missing something or I haven't worked out exactly what's going on there yet. As for what's coming on April 10th, the most obvious thing they could be announcing would be the Age of Empires 4 release date, which you would then think would be set for some time this year. Last fall we had AoE 3 Definitive Edition, and fall 2019 we had AoE 2 Definitive Edition released, so a release for Age 4 this fall would fit the pattern. We've heard for a while now that the game is in a playable state, which again supports that idea as well, though no official beta has been announced. That could very well be something they talk about though on April 10th. There's also going to be some surprise reveals for Age 2 and 3. It's hard to imagine with Lords of the West coming out just 6 weeks ago that Age 2 would have more civilizations being added already, but I could see maybe one new Civ and a campaign DLC pack to justify all of the continued updates. Just because the announcement is in April also doesn't mean that a new DLC couldn't be scheduled for say May or June. Age of Empires 3 could also very well have another civilization added, and in fact that seems like a very safe bet to me. I kind of wish we got to see more AoE 4 footage to be honest, rather than mostly stuff from the last trailer, but I guess that's the point of April 10th, and this is just to get people to tune into that. Also, I have to acknowledge it feels bad for the Age 1 Definitive Edition fans, with support seemingly wrapped up for the game and it not getting a mention here, but clearly Microsoft wants to put attention into the more popular games of the franchise, which is also understandable. Overall though, it's great to see that things are moving forward, and I know Age 4 is something a lot of people are excited for. So what do you guys think of our first glimpses of in-game play, and what sort of H2 content would you be hoping they announce? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.